Hello and welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. Let's start by reading this problem. It says the table below shows the average diameter of a pupil in a person's eye as he or she grows older. So I don't know if this is true, but this is interesting, right? We're looking at the change in your eye over time. Now with a circle, right? This is my circle, badly drawn, sorry. Remember what diameter is. Diameter is a line that goes through the center of your circle, right? And reaches the circle on both sides. So it's through this, the middle, a line through the middle that goes from one side to the other. It's the diameter, right? We can draw it anywhere we want as long as it goes through the middle. Straight line through the middle. That's our diameter. And if you've forgotten, uh, the radius is half the diameter, in case they throw that at you, right? So any of these, these halfway points, sorry, any of the lines from the center to the circle itself, right, this is called the locus of points, the collection of points that make the circle. Anything from the center to the locus of points would be a radius. So in general, a diameter equals two times any radius. And that's going to be something fundamental you'll always see in some way or other. Obviously, the circle is a really fundamental shape. Let's get a sense of the general direction of what's happening here. I notice that in each case, the age is going up by 10. It seems to be constant throughout, okay? And I notice that the pupil, pupil diameter is going down each time. And right, it starts at 4.7 and eventually reaches 2.3. What's the average change? Let's find it. Here, it goes down, right, negative 0.4. Then it goes down negative 0.4 again. Then it goes down negative 0.4 again. Then it goes down, oh, it's, it's linear, it seems, negative 0.4 negative 0.4 and negative 0.4. Um, notice though, this is, none of the, um, none of the, uh, sorry, none of the choices here are actually negative 0.4. Why is that? Because your change here, change is the relationship uh, between how your diameter is changing um, in comparison to the years, right? So here the years are going up by 10 each time. They're not going up by one. If they're going up by one, your change would be a ratio of negative 0.4 to 1, but here, every time, it's going up by 10. And what does that mean? Well, they're asking us to find slope here, and slope is um, delta y or delta x. Now, how does it help us in this problem? Well, delta y is the dependent variable, and delta x is the independent variable, independent variable, dependent variable. Delta x is your input, or your domain, sometimes we call that. Right, domains your collection of inputs. Delta Y represents the outputs or the range. Right? So those output and range um, are, are the language that we use to describe situations where we have independent and dependent variables. So to figure out your slope, you have to establish what is the independent and dependent variable. Typically, in most of these problems, time will be independent. Right? Because, as you can see here, you want to think about it this way, this diameter of your pupil is dependent. It's dependent, say it in a sentence. The diameter of your pupil is dependent on the amount of years that has passed. So that means all this put together, our slope, call it M, is the change in your diameter over the change in the years, change in the dependent over the change in the independent. So it's negative 0 0.4 over 10. Um, you can use it on a calculator, of course, but, but when you divide by 10, your decimal We'll move to the left one pole place value, right? So this becomes 0.04. That's our slope. So here, let's see if we can find that negative 0.04. It's choice four. All right. Hope this helped.